Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're gonna take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Monday, December the 11th, 2023. Let's take a look at and see what we got for today. All right, some good ones here. Now I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out. I'll give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas that were there. If you're a brand new player, if you're a returning player that hasn't played for a long time, or even an experienced player, if there's a particular daily or even weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time, I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep them up as updated as I possibly can. Because as we know, this game constantly changes with every update that we get. Okay, let's take a look at some stuff here that we could do right in our camp here. Uh, collect Purified Water 5. So you guys know I'm a huge fan of camp resources. So I usually have water coolers here. Let's go ahead and collect some uh, water from them. Easy, just like that. Collect purified water. Now, if you don't have vintage water coolers, you can find purified water in the wasteland, but it's very, very random. Okay. Um, now, if you go to your build menu here, if you go down here to uh, water, okay, and one of the first things that you learn is this one right here, this uh, small water purifier here. It does require eight power, has a lot of uh, requirements and to build. But it does produce uh, two purified water, just like those water coolers. But this, if you're fairly new to the game, or if this is all you have, it's all you have, right? Just plant a couple of these with a couple of generators hooked up to it. And uh, you should be able to complete this one uh, very easily until you get a, uh, a water cooler. Okay, what's next here, Jim? Build defense, appliance, or crafting items in a workshop or camp three. We can go ahead and claim any old workshop in the wasteland. I'd rather just go ahead and just do it right here at my camp. So defense, appliance, or crafting items. Let's go over here where we have a little bit more room. Alright, just open up your build menu. You know, it's going to be different for everyone, okay? In terms of defense, I like to kind of pick something uh, that doesn't cost a lot of resources. So I usually kind of go for these fences here, but it all depends on what you have, okay? But I usually pick something that doesn't cost a lot of resources. You could build three of the same thing. You can build, uh, you know, the appliances, whatever you like to do. We're just going to build three of these barbed wire fences because they only cost a couple of steel and a couple of wood each. And we're just going to uh, craft three of them right there. Now you can decide to keep uh, the stuff that you build for your camp. I decide to uh, scrap it, whatever you want to do, however you want to play your game. Okay. That's another one done. What else can we do here in our camp? Not, that's pretty much it we can do here in our camp. Uh, let's do this one here. Drink Nuka-Cola Wild 2. So I made a video uh, probably last week. And uh, talked about some great locations for uh, Nuka-Cola Wild. Uh, we'll go through the same thing here today. Just in case you missed that video. You can check that video out if you like. But you guys know I'm a huge fan of the Nuka-Cola Collectron Station. Okay, this is the OG one here, the uh, red and yellow. And as you can see, he's got some Nuka-Cola Wild Autumn, which is pretty cool. We're going to keep him there. We all, he also collects orange and grape and a lot of the other uh, rare Nuka-Cola products as well. Okay, uh, just in case, if you don't have a Nuka-Cola Collectron station, um, you can check your resource uh, menu here in the old building section. Go over to resources. And this is where it would be down here if you do have one where the, all the other electrons are. Again, this is the OG one. We got this one a very long time ago. Uh, this one here, uh, the Nuka-Cola Quantum, we got this one here in Season 11 on the scoreboard. Okay. Uh, but those are pretty cool to have. Everyone in my camp has them uh, just because they passively collect while you're playing the game. And uh, this particular daily and week, the challenge comes up like literally at least once a week. And it's definitely worth to have in your camp. Now let's go to a spawn location for Nuka-Cola Wild. Of course, it's up here in Morgantown. It's called Fraternity Row. Let's pop up there. Okay. When you spawn in here, Fraternity Row, you want to head up the hill here. There's going to be a couple... Uh, ghouls up here. You can decide to run through them or you can decide to uh, take them out, whatever you want to do. 
The house we're looking for, of course, is this uh, Etasai house, one with the blue door. Let's go ahead and open. It's kind of like a walk-in basement. And we all know there's a little Nuka-Cola bedroom back here. And uh, if there is a Nuka-Cola wild, it'll be spawning right here on this shelf. This is the only Nuka. This is the only uh, natural spawn point for Nuka-Cola wild. Is this room? That's the only one that I know of. Even after all the changes we've had over the last couple of years, but if it does spawn, it does. It does uh, spawn here. I must have picked it up at some point, but uh, that's where it would be. Okay. And if you're on a uh, private server, everyone and their dog will be coming here for it. So I wouldn't even waste my time. You could try it if you like. Okay. You could try server hopping if you like. But I wouldn't even bother wasting my time. Uh, a good spot to go is right down here. It's either White Spring Resort or down here at the Nuka World on Tour. So let's go to the White Spring Resort. And I'll show you here. Let's go inside the White Spring Refuge. The White Springs Decor is refined. All right, let's walk up through here. You go out to the little tavern area. <clears throat> you take, hang a left here. There's a little store. We're going to talk to Bubbles. And Bubbles will have uh, Nuka Cola products to sell every single time. There we go. Nuka Cola Wild 31 caps. You can go ahead and buy that. And uh, you can server hop this all day long, like 100 times. And you can fill your boots up with Nuka Cola Wild, Orange, Dark, whatever you want. Bubbles will have it here every single time that you server hop. Doesn't matter how many times, okay? So you can buy it from uh, Bubbles. And let's go down here, Nuka World on Tour. We'll show you down here. Now, I proved it out in that video I made last week that you can buy Nuka Cola Wild from Bubbles. If you come down here to Nuka World on Tour, and there'll be another one down here you can buy so they're not tied together. And it's a, it's a discussion I had with one of my uh, members, Statistically Arranged. And uh, what we proved that out in that video that you can buy one at White Spring Refuge, you can buy one here. They're not tied together, so even better. So here's a Nuka Cola vending machines. Again, Nuka Cola Wild 31 caps. Easy peasy, like, just like that. I have a bunch of Nuka Cola Wild on me. As you guys know, I'm a huge uh, Nuka Cola hoarder of uh, many things. Let's go ahead and drink two of them. Done. Drink Nuka Cola Wild 2 for 2. Awesome possum. All right, what's next here, Jim? What is next? All right, let's go ahead and uh, destroy a Robot 10. Now, since the update we got on December the 5th, I heard that uh, robots are a little bit more uh, easier now. They're not as uh, overpowered. So let's go to a good spot where some robots are. I like to kind of go up here to uh, Clarksburg. Go up here. Now, of course, the lower section of Clarksburg will have the ghouls. The upper section will have the robots. It doesn't really specify which robot. Just any old robot will do. Any old weapon, any which way. We're not going to cripple them. But, uh, yeah, we're going to do some damage here. Make sure we're locked and loaded. Let's go to this door. That's good stuff. Your is requested. Now, another thing I'd like to mention to you is a lot of people forget about this, but turrets. Turrets are also considered uh, robots, in case you didn't know that. Uh, so if you're in a place where there's lots of turrets, you can destroy those turrets, and they count as uh, robots, destroying robots. So FYI on that, just in case you were... You're unaware. There we go. Really, boys? Let's try this uh, vertebrate here. Let's see if this guy counts. Never really tried this before, actually. Let's try it. Oh, there we go. Vertebrate counts, too. Almost got uh, took out by that. Uh... 
by that blade. Holy mackerel. I must get taken out by that guy. Oh, where's this guy at here? Yeah, you just stay right there, bud. There we go. Nice. Jeez, again. Wow. That's good that we can try this out here. Always wanted to try this out. These guys are considered uh, destroying robots, these vertebrates. That's awesome. That is awesome. So there you go, turrets and uh, vertebrates. <laughs> Love it. Usually there's one up in here. How you doing? <laughs> Check upstairs here. Oh, how you doing? So that's good. That's good. I, uh, I'm glad that they took that uh, power away from the robots because they would, uh, or a player like myself, I don't die very often, but I'm telling you, their lasers and the flamethrowers would just go through me like Swiss cheese. You guys saw it many times even the little liberators were destroying me and it's just like wow i hope they fix this and i'm glad glad to see that they did that makes me happy all right so there you go good old clarksburg the upper section luckily we had some uh, vertebrates around but uh there's still quite a few robots around there's usually a couple upstairs in another building there and uh, you should without the vertebrates you should be able to complete it very easily here Okay, you can hear the other robots kind of going on. Yeah. A bunch of robots up there. <laughs> All right. Perfect. What's next here, Jim? What is next? Kill the Scorch 10. Perfect. Let's go up here to uh, Wavy Willard's Water Park. We're just uh, close by. Oh, hit the wrong button there, Jim. The old button there, old pal. All right, we're up here, Wavy Willard's Water Park. We're going to uh, kill some Scorch 10. Hopefully there's 10 of them here. Most times there is, but you never know. You never know with this game. Pretty bright out today. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> That's a big old hawker there from the Scorch. Love it. <laughs> Nuka grenades. Love Nuka grenades. If you can get a plan, Nuka grenades, highly recommend it. Just so much fun. Come on, bud. Oi. I don't know why I picked those that ammo up. Not a clue. <laughs> Man. Let's head down here. Usually there's a couple down here on as well. <clears throat> Slid down the uh, stair or something. How you doing? Well, the score is 10 for 10, just like that, guys. Easy.
canned dog food. Hot dog. Thank you. Hi. Okay. You're in danger. You're in danger of something. Alright, well, whatever, man. Hasha now. Oh, hi. Goodbye. <laughs> Good stuff. Good times. These are all coming for me today. I think they'd learned their lesson, eh? I haven't been up here for a little while, so they must forget who they're dealing with, you know. A lot of scores here today, that's weird. Huh. Awesome. Well, I'll take it, though. I'll take it. Okay. Oh, hi. Old Superman punch there, getting ready for the old Superman punch. All right. What's next here, Jim? All right, let's head back to my camp and we'll get some uh, weapons and we'll get some ammo for those weapons. We're safe here. They still got me for some somehow. Oh, for goodness sakes. <laughs> Fight, he says. Oh my goodness. I can't believe the Scorched here today. That's odd. I must have uh, increased the number of Scorched around or something. I'll be lucky to get ten of them here. Most times. All right, we're back here at my camp. Let's uh, get some weapons and uh, some ammo for them. Put this away. Uh, so what weapons are we going to need here, Jim? We need a shotgun for some cultists. And a uh, railway rifle. Railway rifle. <laughs> Our missile launcher. Or a cryptid. Okay. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Um... Shotgun. What shotgun are we going to use today there, Jimmy old pal? Ah, oh, where did that, uh... Did I pass it? Right there, there we go. The old cold-blooded cold shoulder. I'll grab the boomstick. Let's uh, grab some ammo for these uh, bad boys. So, missiles. Let's grab, uh, we'll grab five of them. Don't really need that many. Shouldn't need that many. And don't forget the shotgun shells. We'll bring uh, 200 with us. Probably don't need that many, but you never know. There we go. Perfect. Now, don't forget to bring the ammo with you. You guys have seen me do that many a time. Just like, hey, Jim, you forgot to bring the ammo with you. Then I go out there and it's just like, hey, where's the ammo at? <laughs> where's the ammo for this thing? All right, let's go ahead. The weapons here, and let's uh, whoa, the old boomstick, baby, love it. Let's lock and load her. Okay, um, kill a cryptid with a railway rifle or a missile launcher. One. Let's go after a Grafton monster today, guys. Let's do it. Let's go to Charleston Station. Let's go down here. I haven't picked on this Grafton monster in quite some time. I've had reports that uh, he walking around, <laughs> walking around Charleston like he uh, owns the place, and he's wreaking havoc in the old Charleston train yard. So let's bring the old boomstick here, and we're going to take care of business. Thing is huge. It takes up literally a quarter of the screen. It's amazing. Alright, so that's Yeah, there he's right there. Perfect. 
There's our little buddy, the Grafton Monster. We've been detected. Still hidden. Go for the old blowholes there. Gale encrypted with a ray array rifle, missile launcher, missile launcher in our case. Love it. Isn't that awesome? The old boomstick. And that's nothing special. You know, still have a, uh, <laughs> still have a rifleman build. Alright, let's go to the next bad boy here. What is next, Jim? Epic. Kill cultists with a shotgun. Five. Had this one yesterday. Let's go ahead. We're going to get some cultists. Uh, there's a whole whack of them here, but they all kind of group together. And uh, we're going to go some results. Let's go up here to uh, Point Pleasant. We'll fast travel over there. Alright, so here at Point Pleasant. Kill cultists with a shotgun five. It's an epic. I had re-rolled. Going to do an expedition, and I got this one instead. And uh, the weapon I'm using here is the cold-blooded tactical cold shoulder. And uh, we are fully loaded. Now shotguns, I like to kind of aim for the torso. Just because it is a shotgun after all. Again, I don't have a shotgun build on. Just a rifleman builds, but we're still getting things done here. I don't know why we're in danger. Huh. That's quite the outfit, bud. That's quite the outfit there. Are you coming to me now? Okay. Take it. There we go. <laughs> love it. Totally love it. Peace out, guys. Peace out. You know. Alright. You've been followed? I don't think so. I think we're done. I think we are done. We are. Just like that, guys. Easy. Easy, effective. And if I could do it anyone can for sure hope you guys enjoyed the video please like subscribe and share when you have the chance it really helps me out and to thank my channel members artistically arranged boogaloo bronson michael edwards nigel whiffin heather white tribe thank you all so very much and i hope you all have a nice day